So in three, two, one, let's go ahead and spoil you guys. Oh my god! What's up guys, Flax here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will show you guys how to spawn the Puyo in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So if you guys are hyped for this video, don't forget to go ahead and drop a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new around here. And comments down below, notification squad, and I will try to heart your comments. So let's go ahead and start off by getting some block which are required. So we are going to get the white wall, the pink wall and... I do think uh, some fences, just like that. So we are going to make a little house for the Pudu. But this part is actually not required, so you guys don't have to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a little house for these dogs. And hopefully it doesn't take us ages. So let's go ahead and make that, just like uh, so. And we are done. So we are actually not going to put here some stuff. We are just going to go ahead and put some of the pink right here. Just like so. And we are going to add a little bit of white just like that. Hopefully it does turn out good because I did not try this out before. So hopefully it does work. Yep, it does look like a pretty good house. So what are we going to do for the ground is that... We are going to make a little pattern, so let's go ahead and put it like that. And then we're going to put some white wool and some pink wool again, just so it does turn good, just like that. And that is actually pretty, pretty good. So, uh, what are we going to do now is that we are going to make a little ceiling for this house. So let's go ahead and make that right now, just like so. Hopefully it does look good because as I said I did not try this design out yet so hopefully it does look a little bit good there we go and let's actually make it like that so now what we're we gonna do is put the white wall and make it like that just so we have a little cool design and we're actually gonna close it up just like that pretty good guys this looks like a marvelous house so let's go ahead and get a little bit of torches we are going to put that inside there we go we have to put it high up otherwise the dog will get hit by that so let's go ahead and get some of these fence gates and we are going to put them here. Actually, I'm going to use these because I really love them. So that is actually pretty cool. So now we are going to add, I think, some fences here because it does make it look good. So let's go ahead and try out this. Uh, I'm just going to see it from the front. Actually, we don't need those. So let's go ahead and remove them. And we are pretty much done. There we go, guys. So, guys, this is where our poodle will actually stay. So, now, this is the most important stuff. So, we do have a pretty good house right here. But now, I will show you guys what will enable us to get the poodle. So, let's go ahead and quit from the world. And we are actually going to use this add-on, which will enable us to uh, get the poodle. So, let's go ahead and add these uh, to uh, actually this resource and this behavior pack so it's actually more dogs uh, resource pack and we do have the more dog behavior pack so let's go ahead and enable this and now we are going to open our world just like usual so as you guys can see when we go to our infant and to our spawners we will see a lot of different dogs how cool is that guys so we are going to choose the sheep one and we are going to get a bone. We are also going to get a shear. And uh, what is it called? Uh, I'm actually quite... Uh, there we go. So we are going to get shears. And now we are going to get some dye. So let's go ahead and get the yellow one, the red one, the pink one, and actually the green one. Just to try it out. So let's go ahead and go inside the house. And now that we do have the house, we will try uh, and spawn the poda. So in three, two, one, let's go ahead and spawn it, guys. Oh my goodness, guys, they look really, really cool. Oh my goodness. So now that we do have the podo, we will actually uh, tame them. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And there we go, guys, they are tamed. We can't make them sit or stand, but they will, I think, follow us. Uh, 
Yep, they do fall off, but we don't want them to get out, so let's go ahead and just do that. Now we are going to make this one yellow, and check this out, guys. We do have a yellow podo, so that is really, really cool. We are actually going to spawn four of these. Oh my goodness, we are going to make the small one. Um, yeah, we are going to make the small one pink, because they look really cool, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and make this one pink, this one red, and this one green. Oh my goodness, guys, they look really, really cool. The photo looks actually so realistic. So now, what we can do with this is actually pretty cool. We can actually share them. So let's go ahead and do that on the big one, because the small one, we can't. So, oh my goodness, guys, look at them. Oh my goodness, they just got their first haircut. Oh my goodness. They actually look so, so cute. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm not sure how are we meant to uh, get them more wool, but that is actually really cool, guys. This enables you to get photos in the Minecraft Pocket Edition. How cool is that, guys? And we do actually have this little cute house right here, which is really uh, well made. I do think for this color, you will need just some pink photos, but yeah, guys, let's go ahead and actually make two pink just for the purpose of this because I actually do want to see how cute they look. Oh my goodness, guys. They actually look so, so, so cute. Oh my goodness. That is actually a really well-made add-on. Oh my goodness. So, if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to go ahead and drop a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new around here. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this idea and what you think about Poto being added into Minecraft Pocket Edition. And I will see you all in my next video. Peace out, guys.